Mrs. Fauzi Kumalasari, SAMSE, a Bachelor of Accounting Lecturer and our moderator for today's activity. To Dr. Rina Bukit, SAMSE, KCA, as Chair of the Bachelor of Accounting Study Program. To Mrs. Horisanti, SAMSE, AKA as Secretary of the Bachelor of Accounting Study Program. And once again, we welcome all attendees to the ProAction Talk Series 18 with the theme Accounting in Crisis. This talk show activity is one of a series of ProAction activity in Series 18 of the Undergraduate Accounting Study Program at the University of North Sumatra. Let me introduce myself. My name is Hana Bilkis Rangkuti. As the MC, we will guide today's event until the end. Before the event begins, uh, please allow us to convey the sequence of today's seminar. First event is opening, <clears throat> and the second event is playing of the Indonesian National Anthem Raya and the Saudi Arabia National Anthem. And then prayer reading, and the next event, delivery of welcoming remarks remarks by the head of the Bachelor of Accounting Study Program. The next event presentation of material by resource persons and discussion. And next uh, closing uh, event and the last session is uh, taking a group photo. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, to start the event, let as listen together to the national anthem of Indonesia Raya and the national anthem of Saudi Arabia. The audience is invited to stand. Or 
الربع الخفاق أخضر يحمل النور المصفر والذي الله أكبر يا موطني Okay, right. Uh, the next event is the reading of a prayer delivered by Dede Riansa. To Dede Riansa, uh, welcome. So, thank you so much, Miss. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let us uh, bow our head for a moment, pray to God Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, so that our proxy talk series 18 uh, can be precious uh, to all of us. I will lead this prayer based on the teaching of Muslim and those who are not Muslim. You are pleased to pray according to each of your belief. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan al-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Hamdan shakirin. Hamdan na'imin. Hamdan yuafi ni'amahu wa yukati mazida. Ya Rabbana laka alhamdu kama yang bagi jalali wa jika lakarimi wa azimi sultanik. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma ya Allah, today in this beautiful place, we gather here to bring about and proxy talk series 18 with the theme is something increases. Make this, make this webinar as a useful scientist assembly, as a medium of sharing useful ideas, knowledge, and experiences of scholars, researchers, and students of various disciplines. May the conference uh, we organize today benefit our life, broaden our knowledge, shine our ideas, and lead us to be successful, mm -hmm. productive person, which in turn will boost dignity of our nation. Oh Allah, God and bless our heart and our mind with the light of your guidance. Impart our supreme wisdom upon our activities. Help us to speak our mind clearly help us to listen to each other, respect each other, love each other, so that we are included to the blessed person. Oh Allah, you are the one who can fulfill all dua. Rabbana a'atina fi dunya hasana, wa bil akhirati hasana, wa tina alza bannar. Subhana rabbika rabbil aizzati amma yasifun, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum. Thank you uh, to Mr. Didiriansa. The next event was uh, was the delivery of welcoming remarks by the by Mrs. Dr. Rina Bukit SMSE as a head of the Bachelor of Accounting Study Program to Dr. Rina Bukit SMSE. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, my Hana Bilkis Rangkuti as our MC today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, very good afternoon, the Honorable, uh, our speakers, Dr. Adil Ali al Qadasi from College Science and Humanities in Dawadmi Sakra University. Welcome, Doctor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, thank you. Um, our moderators, Mrs. Fauziah Kumalasari and Mrs. Risanti Kusuma as our Secretary of Accounting Study Program. Uh, our lecturers, uh, Dr. Sambas Kusuma, Mr. Dio Agung, uh, and all accounting students and all participants. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to express our gratitude to our God for the blessing and mercy that we can join Zoom in this wonderful event. I am Dr. Rina B. Abukit, the Head of Accounting Study Program. Uh, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to our International Webinar 2023. Our speakers, Dr. Adil Ali al Qadasi, will present the interesting topics, Accounting in Crisis. As we know, the accounting profession is facing challenges. Accounting are uh, faced with uh, concerns that advances in technology and artificial intelligence 
may one day diminish the role of accountants. Uh, this may be related to the warnings about the dwindling number of accountants and even the decline in accounting majors. How do we respond and deal with this problem? I think it's a very interesting topic. Hopefully, this webinar will furnish students and participants with excellent knowledge and references. We express our gratitude to all of you, speaker, uh, moderator, lecturer, student, and participant oh, for nice. your contribution in this event. Thank you very much. I give it back to uh, MC. Thank you uh, to Dr. Marina Bukit SMSE. We enter our main event and the delivery of material by our research person today by Dr. Adele Ali al Qadasi, who will be guided directly by the event moderator, namely Mrs. Fauzia Kumalasari, SAMSE, is welcome. Thank you to Mrs. Mayana, who served as the MC. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. Welcome to ProAxi Talk Series with topic something in crisis. First of all, uh, I would like to say thanks to the Almighty God that has given us a strange child opportunity to be here attending this seminar held by accounting study program, uh, University of uh, Sumatera Utara. And then I would like to thank to our lecturer for today, the Honorable Associate Professor Dr. Ade Ali al for fulfilling our invitation. Welcome, Doctor. Welcome. A uh, very warm greeting to all the participants and audience here for this session. I'm more than grateful to stand here and welcome you all to this session. My name is Paujia Kumalasari, and I will be your moderator for today. Before we begin the seminar, let me introduce our moderator. Dr. Adel earned a PhD degree from the Tungku Putri Intan Safina School of Accountancy, PISA, the University Utara Malaysia, accredited by AMBA and AACSD, her research interests cover auditing, corporate governance, financial reporting quality, corporate social responsibility, CSR, environmental, social and governance, ESG, and integrated reporting. Dr. al Qadasi is a researcher and also serves as a reviewer for finance research letter managerial auditing journal, corporate governance, the International Journal of Business in Society, International Journal of Managerial Finance and Management Research Review. Uh, Dr. Kadesi has working at auditing and accounting. He was for a leading multinational firm for two years before embarking on his academic career. And now we are going to listen to Dr. Al Kadesi with the topic accounting in crisis. The time is in your hand, Doctor. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'm Adel Qadesi, originally from Yemen and currently serving as the Associate Professor at Shagra University in Saudi Arabia. It's a pleasure to be among you today to deliver into the crucial topic of accounting uh, in crisis. As you know, over uh, the past few years, uh, we have witnessed uh, significant global events, including the Ukrainian war, the ongoing challenge posed by uh, Corona pandemic, and also Presently, the conflict in Gaza, our heart go out to Palestinian and we pray for their victory, inshallah. With my expertise in auditing and financial reporting quality, I'm excited to share insight on the role of accounting during the crisis. I understand the profound interest in this subject 
I'm excited about our uh, ensuring discussion. Thank uh, you all for uh, your presence. Uh, so uh, let's delve into accounting in crisis and explore its significance together, inshallah. Uh, our presentation will contents of uh, <coughs> the definition of crisis, why accounting matter during crisis, then uh, we'll uh, provide some example of uh, crisis and their impact on financial reporting. Uh, so then we'll go to uh, talk detail in detail about the uh, the global financial crisis in uh, 2008 causes the consequences, uh, the consequences and the role of accounting in uh, this global uh, financial crisis then we we'll move to the covid pandemic the financial implication of the global pandemic also what happened or, or what the unique accounting challenge for business during the pandemic so what the the important lesson from future crisis management or what the essential skills for accounting and crisis scenario. Uh, we will uh, conclude by the importance of continuous learning and staying update on accounting standard. We'll start with the definition of a crisis. Uh, as you know, crisis refer to a significant and often sudden disruption of, uh, of pre system organization or society causing instability and certainty uh, that uh, and also uh, the negative consequences also the the crisis can manifest in previous form, including financial crisis, economic downturn, natural disaster, health emergency, political uh, unbehavior, or other events that pose serious threat to normal functioning. The term of crisis implies a critical and urgent situation that demand prompt and effective responses to mitigate its impact on facilitate recovery. Uh, crisis can challenge established norm systems and structure requiring uh, adaptive measures to navigate through the complexity and uncertainty they present. We interest in the in accounting in the financial crisis. What 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 the impact of uh, this crisis uh, in our organization? So uh, financial crisis occur when there is uh, where, where there is a particular disruption to information flow in the financial market, with the result that financial frictions increase sharply and financial market stop functioning. So me, why? Excuse Sorry, me. Uh, the slide is not uh, presented yet, doctor. Could you sorry? please to share the screen? Oh, sorry. All right, it's okay, it's okay. Just soft so, reminder for you. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I'm very sorry. I thought it's already presented. I already shared. Sorry for that. Okay. So, uh, as, as I mentioned, now it's clear, right? Okay, clear, doctor. Yes. Sorry, sorry for that. So, uh, as I mentioned before, the financial crisis occurs when there is particularly large disruption 
to information flow in financial market with result that financial fraction increased sharply and financial market stopped. So what the important of, uh, what the rule of uh, accounting for, uh, accounting for uh, why it's matter during the crisis. So for financial transparency, accounting provide uh, transparent view of organization financial health. Uh, so the transparent financial reporting is essential for stakeholders to understand the impact of a crisis on organization assets, liabilities, and over financial position. Also, accounting will support the decision-making process, accurate financial information, it's an informed decision uh, making where uh, organization really on timely and precise financial data to make critical decisions related to resources allocation, cost cutting, and strategic planning during crisis. Also, accounting support the uh, identification and management of financial risk. Effective risk management become uh, important during crisis to mitigate financial uh, uh, vulnerability and ensure the organization stability or company stability. Also, to increase the confidence of stakeholder, reliable uh, financial reporting foster confidence among stakeholder. Reliable financial reporting foster confidence among so uh, maintaining stakeholder trust is important during crisis and accurate financial reporting contribute to credibility and uh, transparency uh, and transparency also uh, accounting uh, facilit uh, uh, facilitates the efficient allocation of uh, resources organization need to optimize resource allocation and accounting data guide decisions or where resources can be best utilized to weather the crisis. Uh, uh, regulatory uh, compliance, accounting ensure compliance with financial regulation. So uh, adhering the regulatory standard become even more critical during crisis as uh, regulatory uh, scrapping may increase and organization must navigate compliance requirements. Management the cash flow. Accounting will help manage cash flows and uh, liquidity. So it's important for organization to meet financial obligation and maintain operational uh, continuity during challenging time. Control the budget. Accounting contribute to effect uh, budgetary uh, control. So uh, uh, firms often need to adjust budgets in response to changing economic condition and accounting data uh, guides uh, the revision of a financial plan. Also uh, accounting assets in managing debt and financial liabilities. Companies facing economic challenge may need to renegotiate debt terms or seek additional financing and accounting data support this negotiation. Also in uh, strategic planning, accounting information is important for strategic planning and uh, forecasting. Strategic planning become essential to navigate through crisis and accounting data help in developing uh, realistic and effective strategy. Also to assess the financial health of, uh, of, uh, of organization, accounting provide a systematic assessment of uh, organizational financial, financial health. Understanding the financial health, uh, health of organization is important for, for planning and implementing a measure to address, uh, to address challenge uh, both by the crisis. So this is what, uh, what I mentioned now, it's the what, why the accounting matter uh, during the crisis. So now we'll give you uh, some example 
of uh, crisis or, or uh, a pre or historical crisis and their impact on financial reporting. Uh, one uh, one of them, the the Great uh, Depression in uh, 1929, 1939. So it's it's a mark, uh, a pivotal moment in history, causing the the worldwide economic downturn. During this crisis, financial reporting faced uh, unprecedented challenge as business struggle to survive. The lack of standardized accounting practice. Uh, exacerbated uh, the economic fallout. In response, regulatory body, including the newly formed Security and Exchange Commission, emerged to install confidence in financial market and establish guidelines for transparent reporting. Also, the, the oil crisis during, uh, I think in 1973, uh, oil crisis uh, triggered by uh, geopolitical tension in the Middle East lead to soaring oil prices and uh, increase the oil prices and uh, widespread economic disruption. Company grapple with inflation and uh, heightened uncertainty. Financial reporting had to adapt to account for the economic consequences of the crisis, emphasizing the need for flexibility in accounting standard to address rapidly changing economic condition. Also, uh, you know more than me in uh, the ASEAN financial crisis, 1997, they, uh, 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 characterized by uh, currency devolution and economic turmoil in uh, South Asia. Underscored the importance of transparent financial reporting amidst uh, volatile exchange rate and prompted global discussion on risk management practice in accounting st uh, standard. Many uh, scholars in, uh, in East Asia studied this, uh, the impact of uh, this financial crisis with, uh, with the accounting outcomes, especially earning management. We will mention uh, after inshallah three slides. Also, Enron and World Camp Scandals. The under and the world scan scandal exposed widespread corporate fraud and accounting irregularities, shaking public trust in financial reporting. In response, the Serpents Oxley Act was enacted to enhance corporate governance, internal control, and auditor independency. This regulatory change aimed to restore confidence uh, in the financial reporting by imposing stricter standards and corporate accountability. Uh, also, the, the global financial crisis of 2008, triggered by the subprime mortgage collapse, resulted in uh, widespread economic turmoil. Financial reporting faced challenges related to fair value accounting and complex financial instruments. The crisis prompted regulatory uh, reform, including the Dude Frank Act, to address systematic risk and improve transparency in financial in financial reporting. Lastly, the COVID uh, or the, the Corona pandemic. Uh, its impact is still ongoing. The COVID pandemic presented a presented challenge to global economy. Financial reporting face uncertainty related to impairment going concern consideration and government uh, intervention. Companies troubled by the need for timely and transparent disclosure. The crisis emphasized the importance of uh, agility in accounting practices to mitigate rapidly evolving economic condition. Now we'll discuss, uh, discuss the, uh, in detail for the 2008 financial crisis, what is the causes of this financial crisis and what the consequences and what the role of accounting in this financial crisis. One of the main causes of the 2008 financial crisis, subprime mortgage lending. High risk lending practices, particularly in the subprime mortgage market, led to increase the number of homeowners with inadequate credit worthiness. 
Also, securitization and complex financial instrument, financial instrument bundle subprime mortgage into complex securities such as uh, MBS and CDO, making it challenging to assess the true risk associated with this instrument. Exercise risk taking by financial institution, bank and financial institution engage in aggressive risk taking behavior assuming that housing prices would continue to rise uh, indefinitely. Lack of uh, regulatory oversight. Regulatory framework failed to keep pace with the rapidly evolving financial markets, leading to insufficient oversight on, uh, and enforcement. Globalization and financial market, interconnected global financial market facilitated the rapid spread of financial uh, contagion, uh, amplifying the impact of the crisis worldwide. Lehman Brother bankruptcy. The bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers in September 2008 uh, sent shockwaves through the financial system, eroding confidence and triggering, triggering uh, a cascade of other uh, failures and uh, panic in the market. Credit rating agencies, also credit rating agencies assign high rating to complex financial product without adequately assessing the underlying risk, contributing to misperception of the securities safety. So what are the consequences of this crisis? Global economic recession, the crisis triggered a severe global economic downturn leading to a recession in many countries and causing a significant rise in unemployment. Bank failures and uh, bailout, numerous financial institutions faced insolvency requiring government bailouts to prevent systemic collapse some banks, including Lehman Brothers, went bankrupt. Credit freeze. The crisis also resulted in a freeze in credit market, making it difficult for business or companies or individual uh, and individual to access financing further, uh, exacerbating economic challenges. Stock market decline. Uh, the stock market worldwide uh, expressed. Uh, experienced a significant decline, eroding the value of investment portfolio and pension fund. Government intervention and uh, stimulus package. Government around the world implemented massive uh, uh, stimulus growth and prevent uh, prolonged recession. All this is uh, the, the consequences of. Uh, of uh, the global uh, financial crisis also increased regulatory uh, scrutiny. The crisis prompted the reassessment of financial regulation and leading to implementation of reform and enhancing oversight and preventing resources. Long term economic impact. Uh, the, uh, the global financial crisis left lasting scars on the global economy with some regions exper uh, experiencing slow recoveries, persistent unemployment and uh, employment and a re-evaluation of economic policies. So what the role of accounting uh, of accounting during the the, uh, the global financial crisis so accounting play a uh, essential role in both contributing to the crisis and in responding to its aftermath. Contribution to the crisis, market to fair value accounting. The use of uh, fair value accounting for financial instruments, including complex securities, lead to challenges in accurately valuing assets during period of market uh, volatility. This contributed to the overvaluation of certain financial products. Also, market accounting 
market to market accounting, which require assets to be valued at their current market prices. EXA uh, surveyed the impact of market downturn on financial institution balance sheet, leading to significant write down for these assets. Complex financial instrument, the complexity of uh, financial instruments such as uh, MBS and uh, CDO made it difficult for investors and even financial institutions themselves uh, themselves to fully understand and assess the risk involved. An adequate risk disclosure, unsufficient risk disclosure practice means that investor and stakeholder were not fully informed about risk associated with certain financial product contributing to a lack of transparency in financial reporting, which uh, uh, asks to, uh, uh, to more disclose. Uh, the response of accounting uh, for this uh, global financial crisis, reassessment of accounting standard, the crisis prompted a of accounting standard, particularly in relation to fair value accounting and market to market rules. There were debates about whether this standard exacerbated uh, the crisis and whether multiplication were needed. Increased regulatory uh, scrutiny. The crisis leads to increased regulatory scrutiny of financial reporting practice. Regulators uh, sought to enhance transparency, risk disclosure, and over reliability of financial statement to prevent recurrence of similar crisis. Reform in accounting standard in response to the crisis accounting standard setting body, such as FASP and uh, IASB, introduced change to accounting standard, including modification for, uh, for fair value accounting rules. Also enhancing uh, the risk management practices Organization and financial institution began to emphasize improved risk management practices in their accounting and in financial reporting process with a focus in identifying and mitigating potential risk. Stress testing and scenario analysis. Financial institution implemented more robust stress testing and scenario analysis in their accounting and risk management practice practices to assess the potential impact of adverse economic condition on their portfolio. Many scholars study the impact of uh, this uh, global financial crisis on the uh, money, uh, money accounting outcomes, such as uh, financial reporting quality. Uh, more scholars study, uh, uh, study the impact of this crisis on, uh, for example, earning uh, earning uh, quality, uh, earning uh, quality. They study the impact of earning quality. There is a, the, the result uh, indicate two competitive view, two competitive view where managers engage in greater income, increasing earnings management during the crisis. The uh, the potential situation for this result are that manager may engage in upward earning management during the economic downturn to prevent pressing financial uh, confidence and possible insolvency prevent share prices drop that could negatively affect their uh, compensation, preserve profit or boost performance after uh, depreciation. So uh, the author that uh, that support this uh, view, uh, Lispo, Malik, and uh, Trillian. And also, the other scholar find uh, a negative association between the financial crisis and earning management. They attribute this, uh, this to the crisis providing uh, a convenient excuse for poor performance, uh, for poor performance reducing the need and desire for management to engage in earning management. So you can find uh, many studies in uh, that, uh, that investigate the impact of financial crisis with other accounting outcomes. 
So uh, with the, now we discuss uh, with the, uh, the financial implication for the the corona pandemic. So revenue disruption, money companies experience uh, experience significant revenue decline uh, due to the lockdown, reduced consumer spending and supply chain disruption. Also, a personal uh, challenge. Lockdown and uh, restriction disrupted normal business operation, leading also to uh, leading to uh, increased cost for remote work uh, setup and supply chain uh, interruption. Uh, company adopted uh, cost uh, also uh, uh, adopted cost cutting measure implemented remote work solution and uh, so supply chain resilience through uh, the diversification and uh, digitalization financial market uh, volatility financial market uh, experience uh, heightened uh, volatility impacting investment portfolio Retirement fund and uh, uh, valuation of uh, valuation of assets. Investor uh, diversified portfolio adjust risk tolerance and sought professional financial advice to negative market uh, 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 fluctuation. Government. Uh, stimulus and aid government worldwide implemented stimulus package and uh, financial aid to support individual and uh, and uh, companies where companies exceed government support program individual also utilized relief measure and government adjust physical policies to uh, stabilize economics debt and uh, liquidity concern many companies faced increased debt level and liquidity challenge especially in uh, in uh, in the uh, in industries directly affected by uh, by lockdown where company negotiated with lender explore debt uh, restriction uh, restricting options and uh, focused on cash flow management for short term stability for short term stability also a uh, remote work uh, transition the sudden shift to remote work uh, uh, necessitated uh, technology investment and change in work process company invested in digital infrastructure uh, cyber security and employee well-being in, uh, initiatives to support remote work environment The, uh, the behavior of consumer also shift, change in uh, consumer behavior, uh, preferences uh, also and priority affected industry differently. A business adapt marketing strategies, introduce new product uh, and services and uh, leverage data analytics to understand and respond to shifting consumer trends supply chain uh, resilience disruption in global supply uh, chain highlighted uh, vulnerability in uh, sourcing and uh, disruption so company reassessed supply chain strategy explore local sourcing options and implemented technology like uh, blockchain for increased uh, transparency so <clears throat> What the unique accounting challenge uh, that the COVID pandemic uh, created uh, for business? One uh, of that is a pyramid of assets. The economic outcome of the pandemic may lead to a decline in a recoverable amount of assets requiring company to assist and potentially impair their assets, including goodwill, property, plan, and uh, and equipment. So business need to conduct environment tests 
considering the impact of uh, reduced cash flows and market condition on uh, recoverable value of their assets. Also, the going concern assessment, disruption to business operation and uncertainty about the duration of the pandemic may necessitate, necessitate uh, going concern assessment. Uh, entities must evaluate the ability to continue as a going concern, considering the availability of financial resources and implementation of recovery plans. Revenue uh, recognition, change in customer behavior, supply chain interruption, and uh, contractual uh, disputes may impact the timing and the certainty of revenue recognition. Businesses need to reassess revenue recognition criteria, considering a modification to existing contract and provide additional disclosure about uh, uncertainty. Lease accounting, remote work arrangement and business uh, closure may affect the utilization of lease assets, impacting lease accounting calculation. So, uh, <clears throat> so uh, uh, leases and uh, leasers must reassess lease terms, potential modification, and make necessary adjustments to lease accounting uh, record. Financial instrument evaluation, market volatility and economic uncertainty can affect the fair value measurement of financial instrument, including investment and uh, uh, derivatives. So companies need to carefully assess the inputs used in fair value measurement, considering change in market condition and availability of over available imports. Government grants and uh, stimulus package. Entities receiving government grants and participating in a uh, stimulus program need to account for this market and consider any relative condition or uh, contingencies. So, uh, <coughs> clear documentation of the term and uh, condition of government assistance as well as the recognition of income or liabilities is important to comply with accounting standard. So uh, here some empirical evidence of the impact of COVID uh, pandemic on uh, on earning quality. So Ali and uh, other authors uh, find that fair engage in less earning uh, management during the pandemic. However, according to So and Yang, 2022, the pandemic has led to a decline in the quality of company financial reporting, uh, indicating that company have been involved in increased earning management and uh, management uh, through real activity during this challenging period. So the real earning management means the company deviates for their normal business practice, such as uh, overproduction product or reducing research and development and advertising expenses to manage their money, uh, to, to manage their earnings. They indicate that in order to survive company would uh, significantly reduce research and development expenses uh, 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 or boost sales through annual price discount during the crisis and this lead to uh, lower financial reporting quality. So the management lead to, uh, to uh, increase the management. So this will indicate that uh, the quality of financial reporting is, uh, uh, is very low. So what is the important lesson uh, from the from the future from, from the future crisis? Adaptive governance, effective crisis management requires adaptive governance structures that can respond rapidly to evolving situation. 
government and organization that demonstrated flexibly, flexibility in decision making and policy adjustment were better equipped to navigate the, the, uh, the complexities uh, of uh, crisis. Also, transparent communication, transparent and timely communication is critical for maintaining public trust and facilitating uh, uh, coordinated responses. A company that provides clear, honest, and regular update about the crisis, including risk and mitigation strategy, were more successful in managing uh, uh, expectation. Robust risk, uh, robust risk management. Prioritizing robust risk management practices is important for identifying and mitigating potential uh, vulnerabilities. Where a company that had a comprehensive risk management plan in place, including scenario analysis, were more resilient in uh, the face of unexpected, uh, unexpected challenge or uh, harding time. Collaboration and uh, coordination. Collaboration effort and uh, coordination between government, organization, and international bodies are uh, important for a comprehensive a comprehensive crisis response countries that work together sharing information uh, resources and best practices were more effective in controlling the spread of uh, infection uh, disease also flexibility in uh, business uh, in business model business should build flexibility in into their models, allowing them to adapt quickly to change market condition. Companies that uh, embrace digital transformation, uh, diversify revenue streams, and adapt their business model were better uh, positioned for resilience. Also, the social and environmental consideration. Future crisis management should integrate social and environmental consideration to address the, uh, the broader impact of, uh, of crisis. The, uh, the recognition that crisis can exacerbate existing social and environment uh, and equalities had led to a new talks on uh, sustainability and social responsibility in crisis response. Uh, technology readiness. Uh, uh, Pressing technology and digital infrastructure is uh, crucial for maintaining operational uh, continuity during uh, the crisis. During the company that had invested more in digital uh, capabilities, enable remote work and online services, demonstrated greater agility in responding uh, to uh, this adoption. Uh, Preparedness and uh, scenario planning. Prioritizing uh, preparedness and uh, scenario planning enable organizations to anticipate and respond more effectively to crisis. To uh, to crisis. So uh, companies that regularly conduct scenario analysis and develop contingency plans where Peter equipped to navigate the uncertainty of uh, of crisis resilience uh, resilient financial system building resilient financial system with effective regulatory oversight contribute to stability during the economic uh, economic crisis where regulatory reform implemented after uh, after after uh, the crisis, such as enhancing banking regulation, improve the real, uh, resilience of financial sector, and uh, subsequent economic downturn. So, what is the main our important skill that uh, the accountant is needed to, to manage or to, uh, to be in a crisis scenario? First of all, is a uh, uh, 
adaptability. The ability to adapt quickly to changing circumstances and unforeseen challenges. Uh, crisis often bring unexpected uh, change and accounts need to adjust financial strategy, reporting, and uh, compliance process uh, accordingly. Also, the accountant need to be uh, has a critical thinking, the capacity to analyze information objectivity, assess its uh, implication and market informed uh, decision. Accountant need to critically evaluate financial data, assess risk, and contribute to strategic decision making during crisis. Also, he has to hold uh, communication skills, effective communication to convey complex financial information clearly to uh, diverse uh, stakeholders. Effective, uh, so clear communication is uh, essential in explaining financial implication of crisis to management, investor, and other stakeholders. Also, strategic planning, the ability to contribute to the development and uh, execution of strategic plan to guide the organization through uh, a crisis. Accounting play a role in aligning financial strategy strategies with overall uh, organizational goal during crisis. Technology proficiency. Proficiency is utilizing financial software that analytical and technology tool. Technology enable efficient financial reporting analysis and remote collaboration, uh, which are uh, crucial during crisis. So, the, uh, the accountant has to be uh, competent in uh, technology. Ethical decision making, making sound and ethical decision, especially when facing complex financial uh, situation. Ethical consideration uh, become critical during crisis and accountant must uphold integrity and transparency in financial uh, reporting. Team collaboration. Working effectively with cross functional team and contributing financial expertise to collaborative effort. Uh, crisis require coordinated response, and accountants need to collaborate with various departments to ensure financial uh, resilience. Uh, regulatory compliance, staying informed about the relevant law and regulation and ensuring the organization financial practice comply with them. So adhering uh, uh, to regulatory requirement is uh, crucial, especially during crisis when regulatory uh, scrutiny uh, may increase. And also in, uh, in, in support the decision process, providing financial insight and data driving recommendation to support decision uh, decision making. Accountant contribute uh, important information to help leadership make informed decisions that align with the organization financial goals. Uh, also, awareness uh, about the crisis management, understanding the dynamic of a crisis management and contributing to organizational uh, resilience. Accountant need to be aware of uh, the border context of crisis management and align financial strategy with overall crisis uh, response uh, effort. So, so this, all these skills, it's important for accountants of, of also the continuous learning and staying updating on account example is more important than uh, than the dimension skills. So uh, adopt, uh, adoption to evolving standard, continuous learning, ensure that accounting stay abreast of the latest update, enable them to apply new standard uh, accurately and remain compliant. Compliance and uh, <coughs> compliance 
and regulatory requirements, staying update help professionals navigate complex regulatory landscape, reducing the, the risk of non-compliance and associated with legal uh, with legal consequences. Enhancing professional competence, accountants who actively uh, pursue a learning uh, opportunity are better equipped to handle complex financial uh, issues and provide valuable insight to their uh, companies. Efficient and effective financial reporting, knowledge of practice accounting standard enable accounting to streamline financial reporting process, reducing error and enhancing efficiency. Risk management and fraud uh, prevention. Accounting who stay updated are better uh, uh, position, uh, position uh, to implement effective internal control and detect irregularities uh, contributing to risk mitigation. Globalization and uh, convergence. Continuous learning ensure that professionals are familiar with both local and international standards uh, facilitating cross-border uh, business operation. Career advancement, uh, uh, advance, uh, advancement and the professional growth, continuous learning, enhancing career uh, prospect and open up opportunity for career advancement within the accounting profession. Also the technological uh, advancement, Continuous learning allow accounting to leverage new technology, improving efficiency and providing valuable insight through data-driven decision-making. Lastly, preparation for future change. Continuous learning, prepare professionals for future change, ensuring they are well-equipped to adapt to new accounting principle and methodology. So uh, it's important for, uh, for accounting, for accountants, to continue learning, learn and stay updated with accounting standard. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Uh, thank you very much, Doctor Al Kadasi, for giving us uh, such uh, informative and interesting presentation. I think the material is very significant and. Uh, complex uh, about the issue in accounting, yes. And now we come to the Q and A question. Also, I, I I want to mention something. Apologize for my English, uh, because yeah. I, you know I have not been taking lectures in English since completing my PhD. We are teaching in uh, my university uh, in, uh, in Arabic. So sorry for <laughs> any mistake. Okay, okay, doctor. Um, and now we come to the Q and A session. For those who have question, please raise your hand by clicking raise hand button or type the question in the chat box. Zoom. There are already question. Any question about the accounting in crisis? There are many issues in accounting, I think. Any question? Okay, uh, maybe uh, first question from me, doctor. I think uh, to know about the accounting crisis, uh, there are indicators. What are the common indicators of an accounting crisis in global context? Sorry, doctor. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Uh, the main indicator uh, is that particularly uh, uh, large uh, disruption to information flow in financial market. Uh, so with the, the result that financial 
traction increased sharply and also the financial market stopped uh, uh, functioning. So I think this is the, the main uh, indicator for the, the global crisis in accounting. There are a trend or there are a trend or pattern that uh, we can know that uh, before the accounting crisis of course like this. Mm -hmm. There are trend we like uh, we know about uh, that trend or the pattern but uh, about the accounting crisis. You mean a uh, trend? Yes. Sorry, the sound is not clear of me. Uh, yes, doctor. Sorry? Yes. Uh, can you repeat? I don't know. Sorry, it's not clear for me. Ah, uh, so uh, yes. so uh, the the accounting crisis, uh, the indicator of the accounting crisis, it's it will be clear, particularly uh, when there is a large disruption to information flow in financial market, with the result that financial uh, function increased sharply, and financial markets stopped uh, functioning. Okay, doctor, thank you. Uh, um, any question for the student? You can raise your hand if you have some question about the accounting crisis. crisis. Or you can type your question in chat box, Zoom. Okay. So also we, we can mention that uh, to the account trend, the account crisis trend. So, uh, for example, the cor uh, the corporate scandal, uh, where the account uh, accounting crisis are often associated with the corporate scandal, where company manipulate financial statement to present more favorable picture than uh, the actual uh, financial health. Also, uh, financial fund, uh, including uh, uh, this appropriation uh, of uh, credit to accounting crisis, ethical analysis may result from ethical analysis with realization. Also, uh, we can say uh, regulatory compliance issues. Failure to comply with accounting standard and regulation can lead to accounting crisis also. Board governance. We could be governance structure can contribute to the accounting crisis. That is. Also lack of transparency. Insufficient transparency in financial reporting can contribute to all accounting crisis. Also. I hope it's clear for you. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Uh, you wait the question. Uh, any question? Mm -hmm. 
Miss, uh, Mrs. This is okay. Olivia. Uh, Anna. Uh, sir, uh, I want to ask about the topic. Uh, and role does transparency play in rebuilding trust with uh, stakeholders uh, during and after a crisis? And how should uh, organization communicate with stakeholders in the event of accounting crisis to minimize reputational damage? Yeah. Thank you. As you mentioned, uh, answer, uh, answer, uh, answer, uh, insufficient transparency in financial reporting can contribute to accounting crisis. So uh, stakeholders, including investor and creditor, may also uh, confidence if they pre uh, uh, perceive a lack of uh, openness in how financial information is uh, presented. So during the crisis, uh, most of company uh, uh, with, uh, with the new situation, they can't, uh, they can't disclose everything because they, they are in a new situation. So they will uh, go to do something uh, depend on the the power uh, depend on the structure of uh, the governance with uh, the weak governance so uh, the uh, the transparency will uh, the lack of transparency will increase but the company that has uh, a good uh, governance structure uh, I, I think will uh, will deal uh, better than uh, the company that has a uh, poor governance structure. The, uh, also, the regulatory body uh, enhance the regulation to more uh, disclose about the, about the uh, as you know that now, now there is a, a new requirements to disclose, uh, to disclose uh, ASG, disclose integrated reporting, also, uh, uh, corporate social responsibility that uh, all uh, I think in Saudi Arabia now all all uh, listed company now uh, uh, required to uh, to disclose the integrated report and the ASC report. So I think this one uh, the impact of this uh, crisis enhanced the, the regulation structure. Uh, rebuild the governance structure, yes, sir. And uh, could it uh, be a solution, sir, if the company reappears with a new governance, such as like uh, build a new organizational uh, structure, or uh, yeah, I think uh, a new appearance uh, for uh, this company because they must uh, build stakeholder confidence and they must uh, create, uh, they must uh, build uh, a new relationship with uh, their stakeholders. I think, I think that could it uh, be a solution, sir? If the company changes their structure, uh, they will lose. You mean they will lose the confidence of uh, Sikorda? Yeah. You mean that? Yeah. 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 You're right, sir. Uh, so uh, it depends. Uh, <laughs> if uh, if they uh, restructure their uh, the governance structure. Yeah. But depends on the uh, the intervention of government. If the the. The government sector of companies. I think all the all the companies will uh, tend to to restructure their governance to attract more investors. I think they, they will not uh, they will not lose the, their confidence. Uh, and obviously, they, they will uh, they will gain their uh, confidence. 
because they uh, they are uh, uh, they are go with the, the comply with the, the the regulation the new regulation. This my opinion. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir, uh, for your answer. Uh, thank you. Um, is this uh Fauzia? Okay, thank you, Mrs. Mayhana. Uh, there are question in the chat box. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rahmania Ulfa. I would like to ask, is AI can solve accounting crisis, crisis or, adding, or adding it? Thank you. Sorry? AI? AI, artificial intelligence, can solving accounting crisis or adapting or adding it. Thank you. You can look in the chat box, doctor. Okay. I'll see it. I think it's going to play. Mm. play uh, a role in addressing a certain aspect of the crisis, but clearly in the context of dynamic communication and ethical uh, decision making. Uh, So uh, uh, it's really it's a good question. So uh, artificial intelligence will give you the uh, really will give you the they will open all the doors that they can use to solve any problem, but. Uh, Depend on the expertise that use uh, that use it. So the maybe contribute to a uh, high intelligence uh, artificial intelligence. Maybe potential, uh, maybe it will uh, address certain aspects of accounting and financial uh, challenge. So maybe it will uh, prevent and indicate accounting uh, mistake. Uh, may uh, uh, deducting the fraud. This can enhance the ability of deduct, maybe uh, detect financial regulatory uh, and prevent the. Uh, uh, the fraudulent accounting practices and also uh, accumulation of uh, routine tasks. So it can automate routine and uh, uh, repetitive accounting tasks, reducing the risk of human error and improving the accuracy of financial reporting. May also by uh, the data analysis can process vast amount of financial data, provide valuable insight to decision making. Uh, uh, compliance uh, monitoring 
can assist in monitoring regulatory change and ensuring compliance with the accounting standard. Also, I think uh, AI can help in risk management uh, by assist and manage financial risk more effectively. Also, enhancing the, the forecasting can improve the accuracy of financial forecasting by considering a wide range of variable and the scenario. I hope it's uh, it's clear. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Uh, anything else? Any question? More? <coughs> Okay, uh, I think it's enough, yes, Doctor? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, finally, we have come to the end of the today's seminar. We hope you enjoy this seminar and gain some valuable knowledge and inspiration from our lecturers. Before closing this session, I will give a conclusion uh, about uh, seminar today from the lecturers. Uh, it can be concluded that uh, when we talk about an accounting crisis, we are typically referring to a situation where there are significant challenges, problems, or disruption within the accounting profession or the boarding financial reporting system. This crisis could manifest in various ways and it might be caused by ethical issue, regulatory change, financial mismanagement, technological disruption, economic downturn, or other factor. I think uh, that's... <laughs> okay, uh... I would like to thank you for our lecturer today, Dr. Ali al -Kadesi, for sparing time to deliver such an interesting lectures and for all the participants for their active participation. I'm Fauzia Kumarasari. Sincerely apologies for the mistake I have probably made during this lecture. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, for so the next, I return to Mrs. Uh, Mayhana as a MCPS. Thank you, Mrs. Uh, Fauzia Malasari. To the participants, we have gone through even by even together. As the presenter, I would like to thank you to thank you for your attention. Many thanks to Dr. Adel Ali Al Kodasi as a research person for today's seminar and Mrs. Fauzi Akumalasari, SAMSE, as the even moderator uh, who guided the international seminar today. Allow me to give a certificate of activity to our research person today, namely Dr. Adel Ali al Kodasi. Okay. Wait a minute, sir. So, huh? Okay. Uh, because, Thank uh, you so the, much. The wait, wait, sir. Uh, the committee want to share screen. Uh, the certificate for uh. The, okay. For the moderator. My. Wait a minute, sir. Yes, yeah, bu. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the certificate, sir. Thank you so much. Really, uh, I'm also uh, really apologize for my yeah. uh, for any mistake. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much to Dr. Adel Ali Al Kodasi, who has conveyed many developments in accounting science. Uh, Sorry, uh, but, before... but the name is uh, incorrect. Adil. Oh, okay, okay. I will. Double E. I no, will... just one E. One E. Okay, one E. 
uh, we will correct <laughs> the certificate, okay. sir. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. for your information. And uh, before our event close, we will take a photo together. Participants are expected to be able to activate the Zoom camera so that it can be documented by the seminar committee. Okay. okay. Sorry, Sorry, my phone is uh, not open. It's okay, sir. For the first screen, uh, we will take a photo. One, two, three. The next screen. All right, thank you. Uh, thanks again to Dr. Adel Al Kodasi for your time and your material, which was very useful for all of us. And thank you to all the participants who, who agreed to attend today's event. Sorry for any start comings. I hope you again. I hope you gain a lot of knowledge to apply in everyday life. Uh, wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. See you. Waalaikumsalam.